Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own weather center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD Broadcast Studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Cody Johnson with a recap of your news from around the Columbia Basin this week. In sports, we have highlights from the Gonzaga basketball game last night. And we'll tell you about some local games coming up this weekend. And we have the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the iFiber One Weather Center. Our top story this week, a garage caught fire in Efreda on Tuesday night. Here with the story is Ryan Lancaster. The Efreda Fire Department responded to a structure fire near 3rd and Alder Street Tuesday night. Afraid of Fire Chief Jeremy Burns said the fire broke out at just after 5 p.m. in a detached garage behind a residence on Alder. The roughly 540 square foot garage had apparently been converted into a family room. The resident reportedly told fire officials he'd briefly left the garage to greet his wife when she'd arrived home from work. When he returned and opened the door, there was thick smoke and heat. Fire officials later learned the resident had reportedly left a candle burning in the garage that had been knocked over, possibly by a cat. Burns said he was concerned the fire could spread to the house or a nearby laundromat and called for mutual aid by Grant County Fire Districts 13 and 7. Crews did manage to contain the fire to the garage and knocked it down quickly. Thanks, Ryan. The Sundial Bistro in Soap Lake was a setting for a music video. A 13-year-old Danica Knowlton sang as the camera crew recorded video, which will be used to help promote a CD featuring the young Soap Lake star. Little under a year after opening, Soap Lake Sundial Bistro hosted a film shoot on Sunday for a music video featuring a song about the restaurant itself. It's amazing. Um, I mean, we're excited. We're, we've, Danica's been considered our house band. That's Soap Lake's own Danica Knowlton. The 13-year-old musician recently recorded her first album with Moses Lake guitarist Gary Johnstad and several Seattle musicians under the band name Rockland Road. Their album includes five original songs and six cover tunes spanning the classic rock, pop, and country genres. One original is titled The Bistro. The song that they wrote, we weren't even aware they were writing it. They did that kind of as a surprise to us and then came in and sang it one evening while they were here. And now we, got, we get to have this video being filmed in our restaurant and we're here 10 months today. Knowlton says she's always been into music, but has been on stage playing fiddle since she was seven. She also plays guitar and ukulele and says she loves performing because... It, it makes people happy. It makes me happy. Just the sound of music just makes me smile. And it, I just want, I'm gravitated towards it all the time. I love it. John Stad says he first met Knowlton when she was nine and playing fiddle for a benefit concert. So I was helping run sound and when she came, literally brought a tear to my eye and and then her mom wanted me to give her guitar lessons which I thought she would be giving me lessons by now but it's just that much better. <laughs> the two started playing together last summer and recently headed into the recording studio. John Stad says the music video is a way to spread word about the upcoming album. Pretty much heard that uh, CDs are the past and if you don't have video anymore you're going to have no futures. Prior to the start of filming on Sunday, Farrell's business partner Spencer Pete was busy back in the kitchen cooking up a storm for a crowded restaurant. While diners slash future music video stars ate and talked, local videographer Andrew St. Pierre set up for filming. St. Pierre says he first met Knowlton a couple months back and helped her film an online video to fundraise for studio time. Shooting will probably take a couple hours. Editing is going to take a little bit longer. So it'll be a couple weeks before we get it all done and finished completely. Once that happens, St. Pierre says it'll be available for viewing online. Filming itself entailed a lot of singing and a lot of cheersing. Participants joined in on each rendition of the chorus and held up their beers or sodas as Pete chased a couple of good sports dressed in a cow costume through the dining room. Milton's band went on a five-state Northwestern tour last fall, which is something the teen says she'd love to do again. We're just trying to come up with the funding to go back on tour. Last time we traveled in the car, 
and we were like this in band equipment smushed up against the wall. It's like, oh look, there's my guitar. <laughs> but it was crowded, but it was a amazing experience. But for now, she says Soap Lake is a great home base. I love it here in Soap Lake. It's a beautiful town, and I'd like to just travel around, see the world, uh, make people smile. I want to make more and more people smile than I ha even have before, and I think it's just awesome. For I Fiber One News, this is Ryan Lancaster reporting. Thanks, Ryan. Sometimes we need things delivered but don't have the time or the truck to do it. One couple has found a way to help and were able to create their own small business. It's been about seven months since Nathan and Stacy Pack took the plunge and opened their own delivery business in Moses Lake. Fast food, dry cleaning, auto parts, groceries, Pax Delivery offers to transport pretty much anything for a flat rate plus mileage from the place of pickup. Nathan Pack says he started considering the business idea after noticing the only area of restaurants with delivery are pizza joints and one teriyaki place. The tipping point came when he had some time off from his job at Genie to recuperate from an injury. I thought about every which way I thought the business could go and how we could make it work and, you know, and, and then I finally just said, let's do it. So how much time did it take to build a business from scratch? Months. Yeah. You know, but... I would spend five or six hours a day just writing numbers down and it's funny we just found him the other day. We have notepads full of his mm. notes that he took yeah. and some of them we see they worked out and then some of them we've changed. Fill all this out and I submit it and it sends it out to email and text. Adaptation has been a big part of the learning curve for the young couple. Nathan is 27 and Stacy's 23. Nathan says they don't do as much grocery shopping as he thought they would, but on the flip side, they've developed partnerships with several area restaurants, pharmacies, and other businesses. They also help people move house on a regular basis. Pax delivers not just in Moses Lake, but all over the county. Been Chico's there. to Warden in Royal City. Yeah. yeah. Um, Inca's to almost George. There have been some odd requests, too. Stacy delivered a death certificate lately, and Nathan says they occasionally get requests for less than lawful merchandise. After the marijuana thing uh, was legalized, we had a guy call us and ask us if we could deliver him some. <laughs> What'd you say to that? Absolutely not. No. No. <laughs> no. Two part-time drivers assist with deliveries, the number of which varies widely from day to day. One Wednesday, they could be swamped with 35 deliveries. And then the next Wednesday, we'll just be like, is the phone ringing? You know, I'll call, I'll call the business phone to make sure that it's still ringing because sometimes it just doesn't <laughs> ring as much as... You would think, you know. They average about 20 a day, which Nathan says can be stressful at times. It's this is our business. This is what this is what we feed our children with, you know, and we're all about customer service. And I want to make sure that when they order, it's what they order, when they want it, how they want it, you know. So we put that pressure on ourselves. But ask them about satisfied customers, and their faces light up. And I'll I'll walk up to the door and. I'll, Pax is here, yes, you know. Coming up on Valentine's Day, Pax delivers a long-stemmed rose anywhere in Moses Lake for 10 bucks. More information is available at paxdelivery.com or by calling 509-762-1234. For iFiber One News, this is Ryan Lancaster reporting. Each, each, I'm sorry, <clears throat> each of the people you see here have warrants for their arrest and are wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. We'll be right back after these messages with the latest from our iFiber One Weather Center, and we'll have more sports and news coming up.